All right, y'all, so we are moving right along. And you know what? If you made it this far in the video, go ahead. Give yourself a hand clap. Go ahead and do that for me. And matter of fact, if you made it this far in the video, go ahead and leave me a comment. Do that. Leave me a comment. Let me know how it's going for you. Let me know if you're liking this video. Let me know if it's working out or if it ain't. All right. <laughs> and you know what? I already know you subscribe because I know, I know for a fact, you hit that subscribe button once you click on the video. So I don't got to worry about that. So if you made it this far in the video, go ahead and leave a comment. Do, do me a favor and do that. All right. <laughs> but I'm proud of you either way. Um, so at this point, y'all, we only got like two steps left. All right. So this is what the shorts are looking like. So they should be looking like. I went ahead and flipped them inside out. So this is what they look like. And now, y'all, all we have to do is take care of the top and take care of the bottom. All right. So for the top, I'm going to go ahead and flip them inside out again. And we're going to work on putting the elastic around the waist. Okay. So there's an easy way that I like to do this. I don't know. Um, I mean, I'm sure people do it different ways. And again, we're not doing a waistband, so it's a little bit different. Um, but the way I like to do it is I like to take my elastic. Let me go ahead and open it. And I like to go ahead and lay my elastic down on my fabric. Like, if you all can see this, I like to do it like this, okay? I like to go ahead and pin my elastic to my fabric all the way around. Now, keep in mind, the I'm not going to use all of the fabric that I end up pinning all of the fabric, all of the elastic that I end up pinning to the fabric because we want to make sure um, we have just enough so that it gives us the stretch that we need. And you all will see what I'm talking about in a second. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pin this. And when I pin it, you all, I'm going to leave enough at the top so that when I get ready to fold it over, I'm not sewing the elastic. So we, we're not going to sew the elastic to the fabric because we're going to end up taking the elastic out of the fabric. We need the elastic to stretch. All right, we don't want to keep all of it in there. So I just want to put it in there because I want to make sure that my my waist area is even, if that makes sense. And I want to make sure um, once I sew it down that my elastic will fit. All right, so I just do it this way. It's easier for me and I, I hope it's easier for you. So I'm going to take the elastic like this, okay? I'm going to take the elastic like this. I'm going to leave fabric at the top and then I'm going to fold it down, okay? So that you see the elastics in there. When I sew, I'm going to sew under the elastic. I don't want the stitches to get on the elastic, okay? Then I'm gonna be able to take it back out. All right, so I'm gonna do that all the way around. I'm gonna pin it down so that you all can see what I'm talking about, okay? All right, y'all, so this is what it looks like, all right? And you can see I left enough out at the top. So when I get ready to fold it over, um, that's the part that I'm gonna sew. I'm not gonna sew the elastic, all right? And if you can see the pins, the pins are going to the side, okay? Um, and the reason the pins are going to the side is because when you sew, it's gonna be this way. So once I fold it down, the pins will be kind of, so the pins are at the top. Once I fold it down, the pins will be at the bottom so I can pull them out as I go. Because when I sew the fabric down, I won't be able to reach back in there and get the pins, okay? So you don't want to put the pins at the top. You want to put the pins, um, I mean, you don't want to put, put the pins going in this way. You want to put them in going that way. And you'll see that when I get ready to do it. Um, so now I'm going to fold it down, but before I do that, I'm going to cut off whatever's left of this elastic because I don't want to get in the way. Here's a little trick, okay? So where the where the elastic ends, so my elastic ends here, okay? Over here, I'm going to give myself um, a little slip, okay? So I'm I'm gonna sew from here all the way around, all the way to here. I'm not gonna close it because again, I have to be able to get the elastic out. All right, so I'm just gonna sew from one side all the way around to the next side. All right, but I'm not going to close it. I'm going to leave a little slit here so that I can pull that elastic. All right, you all got that? I'm just going to pull it out and then I'll be able to stretch it and make it what I need it to be. And you all will see that when we get to that part. So for now, I'm just going to go ahead and make sure my elastic is even, make sure my um, shorts are even the way I want them to be. All right, y'all. So now, as you can see, I have pins at the top. Okay. Can y'all see that? Pins at the top, pins, and the other pins are inside at the bottom, okay? So this isn't gonna move. Now I can just stretch it like I need to and sew. I'm gonna put the foot down right at the edge of the elastic so that, and I want my foot, the foot of my machine 
to be touching my elastic the whole time so that my needle is not touching the elastic, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and start. And I'm gonna fill along the way for my pins so that I'm taking them out as I go. Back stitch. And again, try to pull your fabric towards you as you go because the elastic will make it jump up, okay? Keep it straight. Touch it as you go. Make sure it's not hitting the elastic. All right, y'all. So now that I have the waistband, well, I have the 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 waist um, sewn. As you can see, it's like even all the way around. Everything's where it needs to be. All right, so now the place where I left the slit, so I left an opening right here, okay, you can see that? This is where my elastic begins and ends. So I'm not gonna take it out today. I'll show y'all how to do that another day because it's just easier to do it this way. If you sewed it down right and you made sure you didn't, um, the elastic didn't get sewn to the fabric, all you have to do is just pull on each of these ends um, there's no point in taking all the elastic out just to put it right back in. It's already in there, so that, again, makes it easier. So I'm just going to take out these two ends of the elastic, and now I'm just going to, so this is what I was talking about earlier, now I'm just going to fix it up the way that I want it, okay? I want to put enough elastic in there. I don't want it to be too tight, okay? But then again, I don't want it to be too loose. I actually want it to stretch. I pulled that too far. Um, and one thing you can do, you can pin up the ends um just just until you get it what you where you want it to be hold it on the end and you know what i think that's a i think that's a good stretch for me i think it looks good um yeah i think i like it like this i'm gonna pull this side in just a little bit more so the more you pull it out the tighter it will be okay the more you keep in the looser it will be so you want to just pull it until it's the right amount of stretch that you like that's good for you and that you feel like will you know fit around your waist and fit the way you want it okay so because that's enough for me I am going to snip it off about right here because I want to just give it a little bit more give um I'm gonna snip it off right here and now for this part okay I'm gonna just pull it a little bit more just because we're gonna sew these pieces together now when we get ready to sew these pieces together we're gonna take the right side and the left side and just put one side on top of the other. Okay, so when you're ready to sew, after you sew it, you want it to go back and lay in perfectly, okay? So you don't want to end up having it twisted. So when it goes back in, it's twisted, you want to easily lay. So I got my right side and I got my left side, everything's flat. I just wanna put one on top of the other, okay? So I'm gonna sew it like this, one on top of the other, just like that. I'm gonna go over here to my sewing machine I'm going to zigzag stitch across this, okay? I'm gonna zigzag down, up, down, up. So I'm gonna back stitch, zigzag down, back stitch up, zigzag down, back stitch up. I do it at least two or three times just because when you're dealing with elastic, you're gonna be pulling on your pants, you're gonna be stretching them, you're gonna try to pull them over your butt, and you don't want the elastic to snap. So I wanna do it a few times just to make sure that it's secure, okay? So I'm gonna put this back on my zigzag stitch number three make sure it's pull it out just uh, you know pull it out as much as you need to so that it goes under your um your foot your zip i mean your your sewing machine foot with ease so i'm just going to zigzag stitch all the way down now i'm going to back stitch up this is what it looks like okay can you all see that all right so after this part is there's just like a little flap right here. I'm gonna cut that off. I don't want it to just lay down in the back. Make sure you don't cut your stitches. All right, so now, you all can see, I'm just gonna pull that back in and that's gonna lay perfect, okay? So now my pants are exactly how I want them, or my shorts. And for that last little piece um, that I left out, I'm going to go ahead and sew that down, okay? So that everything's secure. Remember to turn your machine back to, to a straight stitch. All right, so these are where my shorts look like now. Got the elastic in there. 
So the last thing we have to do, y'all, is hem, okay? And when we get ready to hem, um, what I like to do is I like to try on my shorts, especially if I'm making them for me and I want them to fit a certain way. I like to try them on and I like to measure up where I want to actually hem my shorts, depending on how long or short I want them to fit. So I'm gonna try these on and I'm going to see exactly how much I want to hem. All right, y'all, so I tried these on and this is what they look like so far. So what I wanna do is I want my shorts to come up probably about to right here, okay? So I want to put a pin right here where I want, um, well actually I'm just gonna put a pin here because this is where I want my hem to come up to, okay? So if you can see, I just put a pin right there and um, pretty much what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure up to see how long that is. So I'll go ahead and do that right now on camera. Just grab my um, measuring tape. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to measure from the bottom all the way to the um, one side, from the bottom to the pin. So it's about four inches, all right? So I'm gonna hem up to the four inch mark, okay? Just put a mark there and I'm gonna measure four inches on this side and do the same thing, okay? All right, y'all, so I'm sitting back down and here is my marking with my pen where I want my um, shorts to be and I want them to be even on both sides. So what I'm actually gonna do first though before I actually measure up four inches is that I'm going to cut off at the bottom to make sure it's even. It's a little uneven at the bottom. And remember, if you all remember earlier in the video when I was telling you that a lot of the times the seam allowance is going to get cut off anyway so if it's not perfect 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 because again we're just learning we're starting out if it's not super perfect it's okay so if you all can see i want you all to look at this because this is where i left it uneven on purpose um at the crotch seam okay so this is where i left it uneven at the crotch and if you all can see right here at the bottom this is the outside of that because remember again this is the crotch seam right here and this seam in the middle is even, but on the outside, I'm taking y'all back real quick, just to show y'all, I left it uneven, okay? I left this hanging over the top, and it's just a little bit uneven on this side, but same situation, okay? So, it's uneven, but guess what? I'm about to hem these shorts four inches. This is like uneven by not even an inch, okay? So that's what I'm trying to tell you all. Like, even if it's not perfect, it's okay, especially on, on the edges and the ends because look at how much we cut off. Look at how much we've, um, we've had to, you know, stitch. And normally, like I said, we use my surgery. All of that stuff will get surged in, cut off. Anyways, so it's okay. I know we all want to be perfect. We all want to be the best, and we will be, and we will keep working towards that. But at first, if you do it and it's not perfect, it is perfectly okay because it's probably going to get cut off anyway. And that's just a tip for me. That's a pro tip, all right? Other people might tell you other things, but guess what? That's a pro tip from Danny, okay? So, what I want to do first is I want to cut off and make it even. So, I'm going to measure because I want to do both the same thing on both sides, all right? So, I want to measure how much I'm going to cut off first. So, I'm going to cut it at about the one inch mark. So, I'm going to cut an inch off of these shorts. So, where we were going up four inches, we will now only be going up three inches, okay? Because I'm cutting the inch off the bottom. All right, so now we're gonna go up three inches. Oh, we gotta turn our uh, shorts inside out again, okay? Last, y'all, we, we have the finish line, y'all. We have the finish line. All right, so we are going to measure up. Let me move all this stuff out of the way. It's just cluttered. So now we're gonna take our measuring tape and we're gonna measure up three inches. Bam, okay. So we want to bring the bottom up to the three inch line, okay? And if you want to, um, there's so many different ways to hem just to make your life easier. Um, and I'll probably do another video just about hemming because it, it is, if you're a perfectionist like me, you want that hem to be straight, okay? You don't want it to be jumbled and ugly and wrinkled, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I like to roll my fabric once and then roll it again. So since I'm going up three inches, Half of three is one and a half. So I want to roll my fabric up to the one and a half 
inch marker or actually you know what i'm not going to do that i'm just going to roll it up to the one inch marker so if you want to if you want to you can draw a line you can make a marker on both sides to make sure um you're you're rolling it up to the right place on both sides and what we are also going to do is we're going to get our iron back because ironing for hymns are like they go hand in hand like chocolate and peanut butter like cookies and milk like peanut butter and jelly I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm all, I'm all out of metaphors. Um, but y'all, I'm telling you, ironing your hands will make your life so much easier. Okay, I'm gonna mark at the one inch marker on each side and in the middle. Okay, so at the one inch marker, I'm gonna mark a line. Okay, go from this side to the middle, and that's the good thing about making it that cutting that straight line so that everything is even, okay? And then on this side as well, I'm going to make a mark at the one inch line, and I'm gonna fold my fabric up to this line. When it comes to the waistbands, when it comes to the elastic, when it comes to the hemming, anything that's finishing your, your garment, um, it the, the steps become tedious, they do, okay? They become tedious, it, it seems like it's a lot, but y'all, those little, little bitty steps will make your finishes seem so much more professional, okay? Um, and you will be more pleased with, with your garment, okay? We're not dealing with super huge pieces anymore, we're just dealing with little bitty finishes, but it makes all the difference, okay? So, whatever you do to one side, you do to the other side, just make sure everything is even. going up one inch right now y'all not three one so that will leave us with how many inches left mathematicians we started out four we cut off an inch that left us with three now we're going up another inch how many are we left with answer the question in the comments i want to see how smart y'all are so now let's go over here to the ironing board we're about to get ready to iron y'all so if you can see i have my little blue markings on my shorts okay I'm going to fold my shorts up to the blue marking here, here, here. I'm going to go ahead and turn it this way and roll it down. That'll be easier. So roll it down to the blue marking. And it's just an inch, y'all. So, all right. So once I got them on the blue marking, just a little bitty hem right here, I'm going to iron to keep it in place, okay? Trying to find this one. There it is. So here we are, ironing. And then I'm going to press, 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 press. Give it a little steam. And as you can see now, it's staying. Okay? I'm going to go to the other side. And this side was a little bit off. So I'm going to roll it down until I find the blue marking, which is right there. Roll this down. To the blue marking and roll this down to the blue marking right there okay i'm gonna start on this end and trust me if you do this i just burn myself <laughs> if you do this um when you get to the sewing machine your stitches is, is they're gonna be way easier to sew straight because um because the hems are already in place okay all you have to do is sew them at that point so if you have the answer correct to my math problem, the the inches that are left to be hemmed are two, okay? So give yourself a cookie. Go ahead in the kitchen right now and find your cookie. All right, so it's two inches left. So we're gonna go up two inches, okay? Here's my two inch mark right here. All right, we're gonna go up two inches from the, from the hem, from the edge of the hem. Okay, let me put it over here so y'all can see. From the edge of the hem, we're gonna go up two inches. Okay, so I'm gonna mark two inches here. I'm gonna mark two inches on the sides. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. All right, you all, so now I have my um, blue markers on my two inch. Can y'all see that? I have them marked down at the two inch mark. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these and I'm going to roll these up. So I already have this one um, in. And the reason why we do this first one is so that when we fold it up, that little edge, that little raw edge is not showing. Okay, we don't want that to show. We want it to be as neat as possible. Okay. Um, and we're going to go all the way up again 
to the blue line stop there and that is where we're going to iron and this is our new this is our hem okay this is what the shorts are going to look like on the bottom okay <clears throat> and you will see when i when i finish sewing and on the other side i'm gonna make sure these are at the blue marker as well and not too far over you can put the shorts inside the iron like this and just work on one side at a time so we could do it like this which is actually easy i don't know why i didn't do that from the jump but again it's my first tutorial so next time i'm gonna do it different um but yeah so now it's easier because i don't have to press both sides i could just press this side down bam perfect and what i want to go ahead and do as well let me put this on the side i want to go ahead and pin okay i want to pin it in place even though with the with this iron and once you give it some steam it will typically stay in place but just to make sure i always want to practice good habits you want to just um pin these down so we take it over to the sewing machine we could just sew straight across and no problem all right Now, if you all can see this hem, I want to sew. So the first part of the hem that we folded at the one inch marker, I wanna sew about at that one inch line. You can kind of see it. You see like a little fold right there. I wanna sew it right there on, you know, close to the edge, all right? I don't wanna leave a flat where you can open the edge of your hem. I wanna, fl I wanna sew kind of right at the edge of my hem, all right? So that's what we're gonna sew at. Um, you want to make sure your needle is touching kind of at not exactly on the edge but like i said a little bit down okay you don't want to go over the edge by mistake so you want to take that line straight across like that okay so i'm going to hem this other side i'm going to sew right here at the edge and i'm gonna meet you all back for the finishing of this video all right y'all so we are finally done with the last step so this is what the hems of my shorts look like let me open them up for you Okay, so this is what they look like from the inside. Okay, hold on. I feel like y'all Can y'all see that? All right. So this is what they look like from the inside. Can y'all see that? All right. And you move this extra thread. I'm gonna flip them inside out. So here they are now. And then from the outside, and I, again, I did use white thread so that. You all can see it better. Um, these are still very light shorts, but um, here they are from the outside, right there. Okay, and they look pretty good. They look pretty good. All right, so y'all, um, so this is it for this tutorial. Um, on the next coming tutorials, y'all, we will definitely work more on finishes. Um, I know we all we did was add an elastic waistband, and we didn't even really him this part right here but i didn't want to make it too difficult for you all at first um because again we just learning the basics i think the next video will probably actually add on the waistband um and that that gives it such a more professional finish um and we'll probably also add on a drawstring so uh we will be doing we will have to construct a, a whole another pair of shorts for that but that's okay because we're just going to focus on the waistband and the drawstring um, and then I think the video after that will move on to pockets and so on and so forth. Um, just adding on extra finishes to make it just look chef, chef's kiss, chef's kiss. Okay. But anyways, I hope that you all's shorts came out so good. Um, I love my shorts. I love the color. I love the fabric. They cute. I'm going to show y'all what they look like on, of course. And um, yeah, send, send me, send me some pictures. I want to see what y'all shorts end up looking like. Okay. Um. DM me on Instagram. My Instagram is Danny T. Jackson. All of that will be in the description bar below. That's always in the description bar. Um, but yeah, send me some pictures of, send me some DMs on Instagram of what your shorts came out like. Send me comments. Um, leave a thumbs up if you really like this video. Um, I'm so thankful. You made it to the end of this video. I'm so thankful. Um, I really hope that you learned something. I hope that you can keep coming back every week to learn more about sewing, more tips, more Danny Pro tips to make you a pro at sewing shorts. And um, yeah, I hope to see you all on my next video. Please, again, subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up. Turn on that notification bell, okay? Because I know you want to be great at this. And in order to be great at this, you got to keep coming back. And I need you to, as soon as you 
see that notification and click honey get your sewing machine ready get your fabric ready and we gonna we gonna keep it moving okay because we we going up we going up 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 all year all right so anyways y'all i will see y'all on my next video bye